I'm just wondering if you're going to one day run for office, and will your mother, will your mother pick a vice president who has not shot anybody? Oh, wow. Um, I, on the second question, yes. <laughs> Pretty safe to say. Um, and on the first question, no. Clinton's speech at Sinclair Community College was part of the Our Voice, Our Future campaign aimed at college-age voters. Today's stop was part of a... candidate wins in Ohio will probably determine who's in the White House. And it starts with David. vivid symbol of excitement as Biden energetically strides upon the stage at Kettering's Trent Arena. Hello, Ohio! Hello, Kettering! But then Biden began with the real reason he's here by acknowledging some here may have supported Republicans in the past. People here in Kettering who worked for and even and supported President Bush, even they have realized that we are in very difficult economic straits here in Kittering, here in Ohio, here in the United States of America. Biden also was pleased to report that toward the end of the campaign, John McCain's been attempting to distance himself from the Bush record on the economy. The boy had an epiphany. Now, of course, had he really seen the light, he would have been required to acknowledge that this economic crisis is the final verdict on the failed economic policies of the last eight years. Um, I think Joe Biden's gonna make an excellent vice president. Um, he has the experience in the foreign uh, policy credentials. I definitely think that the Democratic Party is catering the younger voters, and I think the, the Republicans are trying to get in on it too. Local Democrats hoping to hear an energetic campaign speech by a seasoned senator and vigorous VP candidate did not leave disappointed. Ladies and gentlemen, God bless you all, and may God protect our troops. Get up, Ohio! Get up. Wow, Senator.